And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, we still have a lot of dry air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, and that will help kind of dissipate anything that is falling right now. So like I said that earlier, more bark than bite on the radar with maybe a few areas of light sprinkles, maybe an area of sleet or two. But uh, we look a closer look here. You can see the darker green up near uh, Otterbin Fowler, uh, just southeast uh, of Remington, southwest of uh, Monticello this morning, seeing maybe just a quick light sprinkle. But looking off to the west, we're seeing a larger expanse of rain. You can see kind of just a training of rain from uh, really I-74 all the way out toward Quincy, Illinois. This will be the hardest hitting area for some rain in the southern portion of our viewing area. But look at the heavier rain near Davenport, Iowa into Iowa, seeing more rain showers. All this is slated to move through the area later this morning, so prepare for that. But the good news is, but well, we actually hit a low of 30 degrees this morning and we're actually seeing temperatures start to go up with that south wind, more cloud cover, getting a little bit more warming up here. So that's the good news. Not going to be seeing any uh, much of any precipitation frozen. We could see an area of sleet or two, but it will transition to all rain right now. So most of us in the lower to mid 30s right now. So here's future cast. We'll time this out more of the heavier rain expected from 8 o'clock in the morning to about 10 11 o'clock and then all of this will shift off to the east and we'll actually see sunshine by this afternoon. So really a quick hitting system. Not a lot of rain with this just less than a tenth of an inch. If you're further south might see a quick a quarter of an inch or less in those areas, but nonetheless uh, really not a lot of impacts to our area. Your rest of your day, we're going to be seeing temperatures increase the rest of the morning into the uh, mid to lower 40s by 9, 10, 11 o'clock, uh, upper 40s by lunchtime with clearing conditions. And then as we get toward three to six clearing skies. So that's the good news. Better news, a breezy, very warm day tomorrow, 61 degrees for the 2nd of December, 57 on Friday, and it will be fairly quiet the next few days other than a little bit uh, windy over the next uh, Thursday and Friday, but then we'll cool down Saturday with sunshine, and then Sunday will be our next system to work in. We will be having a good little cold front that will come through falling temperatures on Sunday, and that will give us rain chances Sunday. Maybe some leftover scattered snow showers on Monday, but then we'll, we are also watching another system coming in for the middle of next week. So quite a few things yeah. to get to in the forecast, Marley. Absolutely. And when you look at the radar for this morning, it looks like things are just starting to kind of roll into our viewing area for us. Yeah, and as I mentioned, you know, the best time for that heavy rain will be between about 8 o'clock to 10, maybe 11 o'clock this morning. But once we get past lunchtime, be smooth sailing. We'll see a lot of sunshine later this afternoon. And David, I said it at the beginning of the show, and honestly, I think we're going to continue to say it as the show does go on <laughs> this morning. Hard to believe it is December 1st. I know every first I, I think about this at the first of the month. I'm like, OK, well, all right, Marley and I are going to talk about this all yeah. morning. And it's crazy, though, this morning we're seeing temperatures well above normal yeah. this afternoon and yeah. even the next couple of days. But it does look like it will turn very cool as we get toward next week. All right, David, thank you.